pump the water out of the ground and, and actually just let it run on the ground. And you should see the reaction of the people. These are people who are used to walking for miles and miles to get water. And here we have water gushing out of the ground for 12 hours at a time. When you bring water to these people, there will be a bond there that will last for eternity. If you want to attack health, issues of health, you must have water. Issues of education, you must have water. Issues of food, to increase food, you must have water. And if they know that you can really water for them, they will say, well, come. Come and uh, we'll give you land. You can build your church. But you, before, they want to see something. So the need is deep well. Uh, they go as far as 150 meter deep or up to 300 sometimes meter deep to, to really be able to find water. We are trying to find solutions for the water needs there. But once that's accomplished, we want the churches and the local village to be able to sustain this through their own means. I, I just wish there was a way that somehow those of you who are watching this could just see, I, I, just for five minutes, to see how people live and how they get water. And maybe many of you have never been thirsty before, but for somebody who has been thirsty, a cup of water refreshes not only the heart, but the mind. <laughs> if we have brothers and sisters from here or somewhere else able to help us to accomplish what we, we know, and we, we know the need, then you here and we in Africa working together we build the kingdom of God, surely. Thank you for your willingness to take part in this critical need. Together we can help our missionaries around the world.